me tocó toda la parte de la violencia de Pablo Escobar, desafortunadamente nos tocó vivirlo, pero creo que Medellín ha aprendido a conocer su historia. Como dicen, el pueblo que no conoce su historia está condenado a repetirlo. In many cases, the communities decided that they were not going to just stay there and accept that reality that they were living. And they took leadership also to begin doing little actions within their neighborhoods that made a whole difference. The people started expressing their feelings and art has always been there for that. You go to art when you are either feeling super good or when you're down also, when you're going through struggles. And a lot of writers, for example, they created their best pieces in times of struggle. And maybe that's why the city had so much inspiration because of, of, of its history, because of all it, it went through. some very strong referrals from the past, like Botero. No one can ignore that this is Fernando Botero's city, that this is where he was born. And that's why we have, I would say, the largest open museum with his sculptures available for anyone who just want to take a stroll to the center of the city. help changing the way of life of all these people because when you don't have to spend two hours in traffic to get to work, you can use that time to spend with your children or to involve in arts. This city continue reinventing itself because today you pass through a street and this become a very familiar scene and tomorrow you come and it's something completely new. Whatever you've heard about Medellín is not enough. You have to come and experience it yourself. Let the city surprise you.